Welcome to An Apple a Day, a podcast, a resource, a community. Share your experiences and learn from others as we overcome barriers and learn to live a happy, healthy life with a disability. Welcome to the community. Here's your host, Jimmy Apple. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, my friends. Welcome to another episode of An Apple a Day. I'm your host, Jimmy Apple. How you feeling today? You feeling good? You feeling strong? You feeling better than you did yesterday? Excellent. Are you ready for the visit from the big man, Santa Claus? Even better. Hey, we've made it to the end of the year. This is it. This is the big holiday. This is the time to be happy. And I know with everything that's gone on this year, I know with the COVID-19 and the coronavirus and the quarantining and the locking down and everything else. This has been a hard year. It's been a hard year for everybody. You know, think about it. People that are disabled, people that have disabilities deal with this all the time. Now, it's like everybody has a disability and it's just something that we have to deal with. And wearing the mask You know, we talk about it a lot on this podcast. We have obstacles that we have to overcome. And wearing the mask is like one of those obstacles. And all it is is something to overcome, to get get around, get over. And once you get over it, it's just something that you deal with on a regular basis. And hopefully sometime in the future, we'll get back to normal, where we don't have to deal with wearing a mask. But for the time being, we do, unfortunately. So it's just something that we have to deal with. But you know what? This is Christmas. So the mask, it's nothing. It's a piece of piece of cloth, a piece of fabric that we have to wear on our face to protect ourselves and protect others. That's all it is. It's nothing it's nothing that's gonna hurt you or harm you. It's gonna help. So, we deal with it, right? It doesn't have to stop us from enjoying the season. All right, a lot of people are upset because they're not going to see their families this year. And understandably so. But, think about it. We have technology. If this was years ago, this would be 100% worse. But we have technology. Zoom, the the video chat platform, is giving us free reign that you have unlimited time from tomorrow until December 26th. You could be on Zoom that whole time with your families. All right? It's not the same as being in the same room with them and being able to touch them and shake their hands and hug them. It's not. But at least you can see them and talk to them. It's something to look to to do. It's something to look forward to. I right? it's better than being alone. You're not alone. You can be with your friends, you can be with your family. If not physically, at least visually. Keep that in mind. Enjoy this holiday. Put on the old records. Or the old CDs, <laughs> for those that don't know what records are. I'm dating myself. But put on the old music, the old Christmas carols. Turn on the TV. TBS is playing uh, the, the Christmas story. You know, the one with the Red Ryder BB gun? They're playing that for 24 hours straight starting tomorrow evening. Put it on. Let it bring back some memories. Don't make yourself miserable. It, it's not worth it. I've heard people say, it's just another day this year. It's not, No, it's not. No, it's not. Remember what the reason for this season is. To the Christians and the Catholics, it's the birth of Christ. We're remembering the birth of Christ. So it's not just another day. This is a high holy day for us. So remember, there's a reason for this season. It's a day of love and peace yeah, for for those who don't believe in it. It's a day of Santa Claus. It's a day of peace. 
keep that in mind. Don't let that go out the window just because of a virus. If you're going to be home by yourself, make a phone call. Get on the computer and chat with somebody. Go to, go to our chat room. Go to our groups page. Go to famous apple forward slash group. And that's going to bring you to living with a disability. There we have people from all over the world that chat on that group page. Go over there. Join in the group. Put some thoughts on the page. People will answer you. Make some friends. You, there's, you can say you're all alone. But there's no reason to be alone. I'm telling you that straight up. Straight out. There is no reason to be alone. Unless you want to be alone. You have the Zoom. You have the chat groups. You have the computer. You have the technology. This is something that we didn't have years ago. Years ago, if you were alone, you were definitely alone. But not today. You have phones with FaceTime on them. And you have Skype. And you have Zoom. Uh, you have it all. Right at your fingertips. There is absolutely no reason to be alone. Unless you truly want to be alone. Don't be alone. Please don't be alone. It's Christmas. It's a time for peace and love. And believe me. I don't want you to be alone. I don't. I saw this on Facebook today, and I thought it was a nice thing to share. It was two days before Christmas, and all through the town, people wore masks that covered their frown. The frown had begun way back in the spring, when a global pandemic changed everything. They called the corona, but unlike the beer, it didn't bring good times, it didn't bring cheer. Airplanes were grounded, travel was banned. Borders were closed across air, sea, and land. As the world entered lockdown to flatten the curve, the economy halted and fo folks lost their nerve. From March till July, we rode the first wave. People stayed home. They tried to behave. When summer emerged, the lockdown was lifted, but away from caution, many folks drifted. Now it's December and cases are spiking. Wave 2 has arrived, much to our disliking. It's true that this year has had much sadness aplenty. We'll never forget the year 2020. And just around the corner, the holiday season. But why be merry? Is there even one reason? To decorate the house and put up the tree. Who will see it? No one but me. But outside my window, the snow falls gently. And I think to myself, let's deck the halls. So I gather the ribbon, the garland and bows. As I play the old carols, my happiness grows. Christmas is not cancelled and neither is hope. If we lean on each other, I know we can cope. Merry Christmas, my friends. Merry Christmas from my family to your family. And remember this. No matter what, things can always be worse. Right now, there's somebody somewhere wishing that they were in your position. So things can always be worse. It's my hope that you'll have a very Merry Christmas. You and your family. Have a safe one. Have a joyous one. And remember, there's a reason for the season. I'll talk to you next week. My name is Jimmy Apple. Have a good one, my friends.